everyone, and welcome to another edition of City Spotlight. I'm your host, Pablo Pereira. Today we come to you from beautiful De Anza Park, where just a short time ago, we wrapped up a tour with Calabasas city leaders and a contingency of 30 people from Japan that consisted of mayors and other leaders of towns and villages. They were here today to learn a little bit more about how we uh, tackle things like environmental issues and natural disasters. Tour started off early this morning at City Hall, and let's go check it out. And I can say our emergency preparedness programs that we have worked in the city are unique in the sense that we begin our programs and our education in our schools. So the protection of the properties, uh -huh. pro private properties, yes. was a priority. Uh -huh. So we turned mm -hmm. the flood control channel uh -huh. into a park, but it still functions mm -hmm. as a flood control mm -hmm. channel. Okay, and his name is? Uh, uh, I'm a group leader of this uh, delegation, uh, which is consisted of uh, members of the National Town and Village Association. And what do they do? Uh, it was established in 1921, and it's a national organization of the coordination of the, uh, each town and the villages. Mm -hmm. And the people who were here with him are these are these politicians? Are they mayors? What are their roles? Uh, 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 head of uh, villages and towns. Uh, and uh, this time we organized a tour uh, consisting of 30 people. So, but they have various roles in public works and disaster so, so, like The city of Calabasas is very famous to make the uh, restoration of the natural, uh, hist you know, natural environment and also uh, protecting the flood disasters and this is a success case of the harmonious development. So that's why we like to learn how you did it and what is it now. And they have traveled to Los Angeles, they'll be going up the coast to Seattle and what uh, do they so hope to learn to, there? Kind of local, uh, yes. this time, uh, they are going to visit uh, Central uh, East, uh, Missouri and also Seattle, Washington. And what do they hope to learn there? Uh, so uh, uh, two cities we learn about the uh, uh, disaster preparedness. Does all of this uh, this type of trip, I know mm -hmm. he said that this organization is very old, mm -hmm. but is this trip more important mm -hmm. because of the, the recent uh, earthquake and tsunami in Japan? Of course, uh, its uh, main purpose of, is to uh, learn about uh, uh, disaster preparedness or uh, natural you know, development, but uh, also uh, uh, we, we wish to know about how the uh, American municipal uh, entities are doing uh, for the city construction or restoration or rejuvenation of the area. Calabasas, mm -hmm. California, similar to Japan in ways such as we have earthquakes, mm -hmm. we have floods, mm -hmm. we have the potential yeah. for tsunamis, mm -hmm. so we're really not all that different uh -huh. than Japan. あの、several common points comparing in the Japanese town and villages. The Kalabasas has it. But of course there is a difference. But from difference we know what we are facing or what our problem is. Then it's a overall it's a very very instructive tour. Was the did the tsunami impact their villages and towns? I know, I'm going to directly damaged, but uh, uh, some of them are from the same prefecture. What about nuclear power plants? We have a nuclear power plant here in California that was recently shut down yeah. because of concerns. Uh, Japan relies predominantly yeah. on nuclear power. Uh, do they hope to learn anything here regarding that? 
福島の原発の問題が。Now every、uh, nuclear power plant is closed, shut down now. However,、uh, Japan uh, whether uh, likes it or not,、uh, they, ha、uh, they have to. We have to depend on some kind of energy sources. So uh, after uh, very stringent,、uh, you know, legislature or check,、uh, checking out point,、uh, we might uh, uh, reoperate some of the、uh, nuclear power plant. But it depends on.、Uh, We have to make sure it's very, very safe. Because of where Japan is, and because of the threat of earthquakes and tsunamis there,、mm -hmm. have they looked at other options、mm -hmm. like wind power,、mm -hmm. or solar power,、mm -hmm. or other energy sources、mm -hmm. that would make everyone feel safer? Well, Japan, the last year, uh, 2012, uh, <coughs> government is uh, uh, putting, uh, you know,、uh, stress to the、uh, solar energy. And, uh, The share of the solar energy is、uh, going to increase. It's actually going up. Uh, so uh, the government is giving the subsidiary for the solar、uh, panels or solar panel manufacturers all these、uh, aids. Is Japan behind the United States on looking for alternative energy? Have they relied too much on nuclear power? We have been、uh, relying on, on uh, uh, nuclear power uh, too much. Big earthquake in Tohoku region concept is、uh, completely changed, and so、uh, must have seek uh, other uh, sources for the energy. So, what have they learned here in Calabasas or where they were previously that、uh, they think can help them that they'll take back to Japan? Uh, in Calabasas, home,、uh, we have learned is、uh, in Calabasas city,、uh, like uh, this uh, Los Vargas、uh, you know, project, you have changed from the concrete block river to the natural, harmonious、uh, environment. And that is,、uh, uh, we are also seeking for that same direction. Is that just a beautification issue, or are there practical issues that would help? With flooding that they are concerned about. Both for the,、uh, protecting the、uh, flood while、uh, preserving the natural environment. Does he think that、uh, what he's going to learn here today will be practical in Japan? あの今回あの学んだビューティフルナチュラルエンバイロメント、it is very much difficult in Japan's uh, uh, conditions. Uh, once uh, they are、uh, they covered with a concrete, could be natural harmonious environment.、Uh, that is a very practical way that we can、uh, do. The SERP program here, the program for the emergency preparedness, getting people ready.、Mm -hmm. Volunteers,、yeah. organizations、mm -hmm. who you've learned today、yes. are at various locations.、Mm -hmm. If we were to have fires, earthquakes,、mm -hmm. floods yeah, yeah. here,、uh -huh. do they have anything like that there or do they need more of that?、Mm. We don't, do not have so much、uh, brush fires.、Uh, however, as far as the flood is concerned,、uh, Japan is very much a rainfall country, too much rainfall sometimes, and we have、uh, encountered lots of casualties by the flood. So,、uh, in that point,、uh, it is very、uh, instructive. You know. Japan is a leader in Architectural design, buildings for earthquake safety, we know this for a fact, maybe ahead of us. What can he teach our city leaders here today? What things can he bring here that could help us? あの日本はね、私たちが聞く限りは地震国だと。日本の建築の規模が非常に厳しい。Very strict. Just recently, we have、uh, changed the legislation about the、uh, building standard. The government, in order to cope with the disasters, they、uh, give the subsidies to restructure or restore the old uh, uh, buildings, uh, and eventually、uh, it will work. Calabasas uh, uh, could uh, learn uh, of this legislation. The purpose of this visit today is what? Well, we received the invitation, or、uh, actually, they invite themselves to come and see our Los Virgenes Creek restoration project.、Uh, it was、uh, recognized nationally, and they find it on the website. So that's how it started. This whole thing. This is a national organization of mayors and city、uh, council member or county in Japan. Well, they also notice Calabasas is the most prepared for natural disaster response or a response. 
for any kind of uh, natural disasters based on our uh, reverse phone calls to preparing through our volunteer organization SERP. Also, we are one of the unique cities that we have a staff for emergency response. It has to be kind of a little, uh, a good pat on the back for you that this group a half a world away got on the internet, got on a website, found your page, found out what you were doing, and decided we want to visit Calabasas. That's really correct. You, you, you got it. It's, it's more than patting a back. It's, as I told you, pride of workmanship in Calabasas, and this shows that. And these people not only looking what we have done, they're asking us for a plan, how did we get an idea, how did we get a funding, and they're also looking for what we are thinking in the future to do, and they want to stay in touch with us. Calabasas is a little bit removed from the Pacific Ocean. They've had a devastating tsunami recently there, but they have earthquakes like we have. They have floods like we have. What can you learn from them, do you think? Well, so far at this time, uh, it's been one-way communications. We are looking to see what will be their future thoughts. So we're going to stay in communication with their national organization to see what they are planning to do. And definitely there is a ideas and communication that we can learn from them. But at this time, as I said, we just got this invitation from them. We accepted it and we are looking forward to continue these communications. So in your time with them today, what have they been most impressed with? Do you think? I'll be honest with you with everything from City Hall to here, the way we organized this tour. They just uh, seeing the presentation was different, but when they walked aside, I could see a lot of awe and oohs and uh, impress how uh, we kept it natural, natural growth and uh, wildlife immigration through that corridor and that's what they were asking. They thought we brought coyote put in there. We said no. They found their way and they come through here. So they're really impressed with how we are keeping the city, how organized we are. So could we learn things from them about structural design, buildings, things like that? Japan is certainly one of the leaders in the world in uh, building earthquake safe buildings. We've done a lot here since the, the San Francisco quake, I think, in California, but they remain one of the leaders in the world in this. That is correct. They, they do a lot of try and error, or they do have a lot of buildings that they test for different earthquake. Uh, we definitely, we can learn from what they do try and error and learn from what it works and what it doesn't work. And why do you think these relationships for the city are important to share information half a world away? Well, again, as you said, we learn from each other's uh, lesson learned or try and error. Um, project like this is very unique. It's never been done. Now that they see result, they can take our original plan and implement it, and they expect the same result. And I will do the same thing if I see a project that they have done and it's successful, I don't have to do try and error. I can definitely communicate, get the plans, get the idea, and implement it here. I mean, clearly, we're not always the best at what we do. We're pretty good, but I mean, for instance, the Orange Line that runs through the San Fernando Valley is a project that uh, city leaders, MTA, went to Brazil for. So there's projects all over the world that we're not even aware of that could even help a city like Calabasas. You're correct on that. Definitely, we have an eye on the world with technology, computer search, internet. You see things that you didn't even think about. And that's one of the exact samples that you said. Who would have think we go to Brazil, learn about public transit? Or I will learn more about from Japan about earthquake structures. And I'm talking about public infrastructures, not just building industry. I'm talking about uh, bridges. In Calabasas, we have over... Uh, 40 bridges, a lot of people don't know it, but right now if you look across, this is one of the bridge. And I have plenty of these bridges that I have to be careful during earthquake, they survive, so we don't uh, have uh, failures on the road and people can travel. The restoration project uh, to, up at the Albertsons or near the Albertsons there, for people who don't know, what uh, was their interest in this today? What did they want to see? Um, I call it reverse engineering, or is a new terminology that people use it. Back in 50s and 60s, flood control and flood channels were all just concrete base structure. And nobody thought that you can naturally build these flood channels to get the water flowing through here. So what we are doing, we are taking the old engineering, converting it to new engineering idea. 
which is converting it to natural habitat. And that's the lesson learned. That's what they are here to learn, that you can build channels for water flow. You don't have to build it plain from concrete that grows allergies and other stuff. You can build it naturally with boulders, with uh, proper design, and that's what we have right now. And why is that important? All this water we're looking at down here runs somewhere, doesn't it? Correct. This all ends up in the ocean. First thing that we are trying to accomplish is naturally filtrating this water. Second is building natural habitat, bringing back the local native plants, and that automatically attracts local wildlife. And we have observed a lot of birds immigrating here. Um, local wildlife find the corridor easier to immigrate, and also pretty much healing the earth. If you just look right here, you will see concrete. And just imagine converting this to natural habitat. Na na nature takes on its own. And I'm personally impressed the result. I wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful. And, and, it, and, they seemed, and they seem to be impressed with this. They are very impressed. And they definitely would like to have a copy of our plants. They want to, there's some people even, I don't know if you notice, they collect a couple of seeds. They want to take them plant it and they were impressed with how the trees and willows grow in the area. And then our CERT volunteer program, they're very interested in that. They told me that they don't necessarily have a volunteer emergency preparedness program like we do here. They say some of the young people there are doing more now, but they feel that they're behind on that. This might be a good opportunity for you to address that and ask for more volunteers for your own program. That's correct, really. We are very fortunate in Calabasas. We are definitely volunteer-based. We have a lot of people that they call. They want to join in. They want to participate. They're involved. I have more public workshop here. And one of the comments that you mentioned in the meeting was said that democracy really here is working different than in Japan. So that those are type of situation that we have here. We have more volunteer. Uh, and definitely we can use more volunteers for specific program. And the best example is we have volunteer patrol during school hours when the children are going to school. We have volunteer patrol cars that drive around the city and makes it the safest we can be. That's going to do it for this edition of City Spotlight. We hope you've enjoyed the program. More importantly, we hope you've learned a little bit more about our own disaster relief programs and what other people around the world think about it. I'm Pablo Pereira, and thanks for joining us. Everyone say goodbye. Sayonara. Sayonara.